Good morning and happy new year. It's not even five o'clock. New Year's Day, myself and Jack. We had a huge night last night. I had one can of lemonade and went to bed about 9.30. And we've come out this morning. It's pretty ugly to be fair. <laughs> it's not very nice. The winds are kind of southerly and it's really not ideal. But anyway, we're out here. That's the beauty of this boat is we're managing to get out on days that we probably wouldn't have before. Probably before we would have hung inside on a day like this, but with this boat, it's, we're managing to get out. So the goal is to try and get ourselves a couple of pinkies as the sun comes up. So stay tuned. Ooh. That was great. There's a really, really low tide and um, the swell's not huge. It's only 1.6, but it's just standing up heaps on the back here. And there's been a few scary ones. I don't think they're going to break, but they just don't look very nice. No, they look in the dark. Nah. Especially in the dark, it looked a bit ordinary. Anyway, we got a few baits. I got a soft plastic out. Jack's getting, you're getting yeah, his already, man. Look at that. Yeah, it's, a... rod. it's got a new rod from a roller's tackle. I'll show you that a bit later when it gets lighter. Anyway, we're going to sort of do a bit of a bait versus soft plastic challenge for, for now. I'm going to put a bait out and a plastic to get started and see if we can get a fish on board but then we'll play around when the sun comes up a bit. And Jack's in, first blood. We had to get something, because Lord knows the conditions are bloody ordinary out here, eh? Come back this way a bit. I don't think it's massive, but... I'm just getting Jack out of the wind, because it's so windy out there, you're going to get nothing but wind noise otherwise. Luckily with this nice little cab we got here, we can stay in here and film and stay out of the wind. Pinky though, yeah. It's just hard to tell on a new rod because you don't know, you know what to expect. It could be decent. Yeah, it's okay. It's not. Could nice. be an eater. Yeah, it might. Be so we decided we decided to start the new year off on a positive note. Watch the sun come up. Actually, feeling good instead of oh, instead of being hung over and feeling like crap. Thank you, Don. He'll be go probably just size, size maybe. So yeah, rather than feeling like trash on the year, on the first day of the new year, we decided to start on a positive note, watch the sun come up, feeling good, doing what we want to be doing. So that's why we're out here. Doing what we want to be doing. <laughs> it's, oh, the conditions are terrible to be honest. Yeah, he's all right. Nice, beautiful little fish. I don't think he's going to go size though, he's probably just under I reckon. So that's one to bait. I've got a soft plastic on, uh, Helco paddle prawn. So one fish to bait, but I feel like the soft plastic is going to get the big one if it's going to get one. Anyway, that's my theory. I'm not standing by it until I actually get one. 50, 53 centimeters, his size. Yoink. All right, the call has been made. Neither of us are feeling very comfortable here because the swell is really, you're not going to see it on this camera, just... It's not the, nice. No, nah, the GoPro's just flattening everything out. But the swell is really jacking and it's just making us really feel nervous. And I've always said, if you don't feel comfortable, you sh probably shouldn't be there because you should listen to that little intuition. The little voice inside your head says, don't do it, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. So both of us aren't feeling comfortable, so we're going to move. We know that's probably the end of our snapper session, but I'd rather it be the end of the snapper session than have to swim back in later on. <laughs> so we're gonna move, we're gonna go inshore and try somewhere a bit closer out of this wind and away from this swell on the edge of the reef here. Maybe have a shot for some squid or something. Anyway, we'll burn back in because I think it's gonna be a bit of a bumpy ride in. Um, luckily, we're all zipped up and we're gonna stay nice and dry, so it's all good. When we get in there, I'll have a chat here when we decide what we're gonna do. All right, so we've come inside, probably about a mile out. It's infinitely nicer in here. The breeze is still ripping and it's white cap and everything, but I feel a whole lot safer here because sitting out there, we're just feeling really uncomfortable. We're sitting in a bit of a sandy hole here, kind of on the edge of the sandy hole in 16 meters. Just a bit of fluffy bottom. 
we sand, sanded over it and there was a whole heap of bait showing so we thought oh why not we've got the morning let's have a crack we don't need to do back in yet it's only probably not even six o'clock so we'll give it a crack here for a little while see what happens the sun's up so i'm not super optimistic about my snapper chances but got to be in it to win it we're out here now so we'll give it a crack hopefully we can come up with something hang on a minute jack's getting touched up early you just dropped the soft plastic down, it's a black magic, what do they call it? Dart spin. Black magic dart spin. You've probably never seen them because black magic don't really advertise them and they're sort of like a random thing that they yeah. brought out. But we're going to give them a crack. Getting touched That was definitely getting touched up. So it's like a soft plastic, we'll show you it when he comes in. Soft plastic with a little spinner on the tail. Sort of like a bass looking lure if anything. Wow. Well, yeah. It's so much more comfortable in here, even though the easterly is, well, southerly, should we say. Have a look at it. Absolutely ripping, but the... Oh, he's on! The swell is just nowhere near as ugly here as what it was before. How's that? Oh, oh pinged it! No. Did you lose everything then? I think so. What happened? That just popped. Yeah, that was my life. Oh, is that a sketchy knot? It's quite strange. So this is the plastic that Jack just got smoked on. Yeah, it's different, eh? Yeah, a it is like a bass tail. lure with yeah. a spinner on the back. It's quite strange, eh? But it seems to work. Oh, it worked that time. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Your line just pinged or something. Not right. Anyway, try again. Stay into it. While we're sitting. Oh, I'll bring this back. Just running through, a couple of people have been asking about um, what kind of rods and reels we're using. So this is my, what I call, basically what I call my 30 pound setup. It's just a, a Daiwa Saltist. I'm running 30 pound uh, Maxil line on here. On a Team Daiwa Saltwater rod here. I think this rod's rated to PE4. I don't know whether that's 30 pound, 40 pound. 15 kilo, I don't know, it's all too confusing now. So I just call it my 30 pound outfit. So I bought this recently, that's a seven foot rod. Bought this recently to cast for kings because I found out real quickly that 20 pound was a little bit under. So I bought this to cast bigger stick baits and puffers and um, things like that for kings. Really liking it, it's just got that little bit more power down low. A um, lot more pulling power. I've locked up hands on the spool and everything with this to try to um, fight some bigger kings and it's really good. Feels nice and strong and um, nice and powerful. So that's my bigger outfit. For snapper, probably a little bit, it's, it's perfect but it's just a little bit overdone. I like to fish lighter leaders, like 30 pound would be my heaviest leader I fish for snapper because I, I find they get a bit spooked by the heavier stuff. So it works, I fish 30 pound litres on this and just go a little bit lighter on snapper but when I'm fishing for kings I use a 50 pound litre. My other setup I fish here, this is my soft plastic setup. That's a Daiwa Certate, it's a 4000. The other one's a 4000 too but it's a little bit bigger reel for some reason. So that's a 4000 Daiwa Certate, that's got 20 pound line on it. Um, that's Black Magic braid I got on there. It's fished on a Daiwa Aired. Um, again, a seven foot rod, but a little bit lighter. This one's rated to six to nine kilos. Again, I don't know why. That one's PE. This one's in kilos. Some of them are in bloody pounds. I can't make heads or tails out of it. So this rod's basically my soft plastic rod. You can see there, I've got a Helco paddle prime rigged up on this. Just nice and light, really easy in the hand. Um, this is probably my preferred snapper combo because I can go with the lighter leaders. That's got a 30 pound leader on it now. 30 pound, um, I think it's Black Magic Supple I'm running on here. This is probably my favourite snapper out there because it's just really nice for, for working soft plastics. It's just got a really nice action. Um, feels good in the hand, nice and light, easy to use. So that's two of my combos anyway, and I'm running three jacks when he winds one in. <laughs> Out, out there in the wind, we don't want to go out there at the moment. It's on! 
come on, if you pull a decent fish out of here, I'm gonna be... <laughs> we really didn't like our chances when we came here, right? We're like, oh, we'll just give it a shot. It, there was a bit of bait shot on the sound, I thought, we'll just give it a shot on the way in, because we didn't really want to go in, we wanted to catch something. Yeah, we'll catch something. It's not huge, but... Fish. It could be size. I oh, know, it's so hard to tell with my new rod, eh? That rod looks nice, actually. It does, it actually feels really nice. It feels powerful, eh? Oh, oh, your plastic's... Oh, that's better. Oh, oh your plastic just got... Oh, yeah. Sh oh. Don't worry, mate, you can have it. Just get him back and I'll just yeah. hold this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to wind with a GoPro in your hand. Oh, just get quick, quick, quick. Oh, he just come off. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, man. No, that's all right. Oh, the dart spin works though. Yeah, eh? that's twice that lure's got, got snonked. smashed. That was a good fish. That was a wicked fish. Oh, that was my fault because I was trying to hold the GoPro and fight him at the same time. <laughs> I, I think I gave him a bit of slack line. There you go. There it is, the dart spin. Man, they work, eh? It's getting it done. Oh, look at the hook. Is the hook bent? Yeah, the oh, hook's Oh, look how much of the oh. hook is. Oh, that's why that one might go. Bloody. Maybe go with a thicker jig. Yeah, I think right? I need to go a bigger hook on Far that. Far out. Way. That's why it came off, obviously. How's that? Wow. That was a good fish, man. Yeah, that, that was, was pulling good. line. Damn. So here's Jack just bought this new... Yeah. Jack just bought this new rod from a Brolis Tackle. It's called the McPaddle. It's kind of really cool, like a retro-style, old-school sort of rod. He's running a 5,000 Saragossa on here with 30-pound Black Magic. Yeah, 30-pound Black, Black, Black Magic braid on here. So this is kind of a heavier sort of... That is my heavy setup. Yeah, right? that's his Still... heavy... Oh, so this is rated right, to 50 pound. Yeah, though, this is a really So that could... Rod, eh? This would probably double as like a bottom fishing, I've... jigging sort of rod, yeah. which I think is probably what it's lined up for. Sort of went a bit heavier with the idea of we do lose some bigger fish. Yeah. And hopefully that can sort of change that. That's so you could probably up to 50 pound on this Saragossa yeah, quite I could comfortably, my, eh? I could put my bigger reel on yeah. if I wanted. Oh, he's got a bigger reel. Yeah. So... That's actually a really nice rod. It feels really that, nice in the hand, eh? well does. balanced. And this is my old faithful. Yeah. She's a bit busted up, but I've yeah. had this for about three years now. So that's a Shimano? NS, NS Black Hole Explorer on a set of 4000 Stratic. 4000 Stratic. This combo's beaten up, yeah, but I, you've I love been it. Using eh? that for a while, eh? I don't put a lot of love into Definitely it. Definitely been using it for a while. It works. Damn, so, I want that fish, eh? Do you have a, like, a thicker gauge hook? Yeah, man. Yeah, hey. That lure was out of control, mate. Out of control. What's it, what's it called again? Dart spin. A dart spin. Yeah. Never heard of it before. Never seen it before. But look at it go. It's like three for three, I don't know. The dart spin. I haven't even had a touch today. Nothing's even sniffed at my plastic today. Not big this one. I got the Helco um, paddle prawn sitting out there just flipping around in the trail there and nothing's even sniffed it this dart spin's just thank you on plastic the dart spin's just getting them it's getting the love all over the place look at him cool he's only small but look he's had a red hot goat it's a big big it's plastic just, must just be this spinny little tail that they're yeah. liking eh loving it that's really cool yes yeah, so <laughs> well, i've got to admit i had to go to bait because the paddle prawn just wasn't getting any love and I was getting frustrated. So I went to a bit of bait. I got half a scaly mackerel head on. It's not huge. I got half a scaly mackerel on here and it's been sitting out there for a long time. Miley's got some attention. I don't know what this is. It doesn't feel like it's anything too special. Little pinky. Conditions have got worse, if anything. I'm glad we came in from where we were because it was just, it's ugly here and it wasn't very nice out there. Yeah, just a little pinky. He's actually got his mouth out, I like yeah, that. Nah. We don't see that very often, do we? No, we don't. So this guy's got his stomach out. Oh, I'm going to put him on the release weight, actually. That's what I'm going to do with him. Wait 
that's gone back in. Oh, has it? Yeah. Oh, it's gone back in, all right. Should I bomb him down anyway? I think I might bomb him down anyway. That's fine. Oh, this thing's all in a massive table. Oh, I think I'll just put him in. I'd rather that than have him have put another hole in him if I don't have to. Oh yeah, he's fine. Yeah, no worries. Good. Oh, I got the release weight anyway. I don't want to see little fish like that die particularly. Well, we're done for the day. It's got rougher if anything it's got even worse it's kind of gone south southwest now which is it wasn't very nice as a southerly and it's got even yeah, got even worse as a southwester so we're gonna head in we've had our fun um happy new year to everyone and a massive thanks to everyone for supporting i had a look at the analytics last night we've done over 400,000 views last year over 64 videos in a year um i was actually quite surprised by that 64 videos in a year is actually that's more than one a week, which is um, I was quite surprised by. It's a lot of time and a lot of work goes into putting out all these videos in a year. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And like I say again, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you like our stuff, hopefully next time it won't be as ugly as this because it's really not very nice. But we'll see you in the next episode. Yo.